What is up, my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley, and welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. This is going to be for the star sign of Virgo for September 25th to the 30th of September 2020. Take what resonates and leave behind what does not. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, where your messages will 100% correlate to your story, because they're specifically for you in mind, you can find all the information for how to reach me in a reading in the description box down below. Without any further ado, I've already gone and pulled your cards off camera like always for you, Virgo, so let's get right into it. Also, if you like the content that I make or like to support me, please go smash the like and subscribe button. We got the Four of Swords, Major Arcana, the Empress, and the Page of Cups. So the Four of Swords represents taking mental break and clarity from something. It's reprieve. It is taking a break in the middle of battle. So this is a temporary card. It represents that whatever situation you are going through, it is not something permanent, but you are kind of in some sort of mental torment battle. Um, this, it, the, the, the way I like to describe this card is, imagine that you are, you you just bought a new um, house or you bought a new apartment and it is it has a year lease on it. Uh, you have to move and you don't like any of the new people. Your roommates are shit. Your boss is shit. Your everything about the location is horrible, the house is horrible, the landlord, you just, everything about it, you have decided that, um, you are not going to break your lease, because you don't have the fucking money, um, but in about nine months, after, you know, after you do the whole lease, um, after you do its trial year, um, you are going to be able to get out of it. It, it. This is not a permanent thing, but it represents that you are going to be unguarded, so it represents... Not only taking this break and being like, okay, this is done to me, and then not dealing with it, but also if something were to happen that um, <clears throat> needed your attention, like, I don't know, a shitty roommate came up to you and was like, ah, oh, blah, 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 you'd, you'd kind of tap it out, but you'd also at the same time be on guard and be ready to defend yourself. So you're, you're taking caution, but you're doing this um, with your swords. The Empress represents that this is actually going to be very significant for you. This amount of rest is really going to allow you to nurture yourself and maybe somebody else may be coming in that is a motherly figure that might be nurturing you. But um, I feel like Virgos are the mother, so this kind of makes sense, especially since it's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an Aries. But the Empress is major kind of higher goddess. She's the Emperor's counterpart where the Emperor um, kind of puts down the laws. He says, okay, um, the curfew is this, 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 you can't do this thing or you'll get punished. And uh, he, he establishes and enforces the laws. The Empress makes sure that everybody has what they need emotionally, that they are brought up as good people, that they have what they need to become good people. Um, they have the structure from the um, Emperor, and they have the emotional well-being well from the Empress. The Page of Coins, as the outcome, represents that this whole period of time Whatever it is here where you're taking rest with something is really going to allow you to really grow into yourself to the point where maybe you or somebody else is going to be coming to you to offer you good emotion. It's either you or somebody else, but this is not your energy. Doesn't doesn't really matter. It could be you. Um, but the Page of Cups... Uh-oh. So I have sage burning, and I thought that I snuffed it out, and I clearly very did not snuff it out. Um, <laughs> but the Page... Oops. The Page... Oh. F fucking light and love for all, I guess. Um, my <laughs> oh no, what happened? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Hold on, let me, let me figure out how to burn this out really quick. Were you still having a problem? I don't have any water on me. Okay. Alright, that's not going to do anything. We'll take care of it later. So, just basically, I feel like this person is going to come to you with an offer of emotion because they see you being so high of yourself, or you are going to be doing this to them. Either way, it doesn't matter. There's good emotion being offered here. There's an expression. It could be a date. It could be saying, hey, do you want to hang out? Um, whatever this is allows you to receive this emotion or give this emotion, which I think is going to be very important for you, Virgo, because I think, for the most part, <clears throat> you've been maybe blocked off because of this where you've just been, before this happened, you might have probably been like, uh-uh, like, I can't deal with anything, I'm the Four of Cups, I'm not receiving motion or giving emotion. I don't see that here, but I have a feeling that's probably what this is. Um, where does this go with the Page of Cups? Because this looks promising. The Hierophant. Um, it's possible that this could turn into a relationship. The Hierophant also represents that you are doing things tried and true in the value of society's eye. So that's why I say relationship, because 
you know, you get a girlfriend, you get married, you have a, a, a house with a white picket fence, a dog, and two kids in the background. It's that kind of establishment in society, at least in America. I don't know where you live, but th this, here, this is kind of the norm. Like, you have a straight monogamous relationship with not with anybody else, and just you two, and then blah blah blah, which is boring as fuck, but, you know, that is how our society recognizes things. Because this did end with a hierophant representing higher, you might need to be looking for higher counsel with a person, but I really think that this might end up, for some of you, in a relationship. You also might be, this also very well could be therapy, where you're trying to continue being high of yourself and seeking emotional support from somebody that has higher counsel than you do. Um, it could be that, it could be a relationship, it's anything good. It would be anything that offers good emotion and it establishes a good sense of well-being emotionally from you, Virgo. This is really good shit. I love you, and I'll see you on the flip side. Peace out, my moon tribe.